Good morning children. We all live in different type of houses like bungalows and flats which are found in cities, mud houses and stilt houses which are found in villages. Children, we all know that the basic function of all these different type of houses is to protect us from harsh weather conditions, wild animals and thieves. Children, there are some properties which make these houses ideal. Ideal house means a perfect house to live in. What are these properties or special features? Children, to find this answer, today we are going to read chapter 6, An Ideal House. Let's start. In the previous class, you must have read why we require our house to live. Yes, we require a house to live as it protects us from heat, rain, cold, dust and wild animals. Early man also lived in caves to protect himself from nature's fury. Later, he learned to use many natural things like wood, leaves, etc. to build a safe shelter for himself and his family. But was this house an ideal house? What are the special features of an ideal house? So children, as we all know that necessity is the mother of invention. In early times, the man felt the need of having a shelter so that he can protect himself from harsh weather conditions and wild animals. So first, he took shelter in caves and later, he made houses using natural resources like wood, leaves, stones, etc. Children, let's move on. Features of an ideal house. The features of an ideal house can be grouped into four main headings. Ventilation, sunlight and air, sanitation, open space. So children, any house, big or small, must have these four features. These four features will make that house an ideal house. Now let's study about these features in detail. First is ventilation. When you walk into your classroom, you like to open all the windows. The free flow of fresh air in and out of your classroom or house is called ventilation. We need to have plenty of fresh air in the house and rooms where we live. It should have plenty of windows and doors to let fresh air in and stale air out. Green plants planted around the house and potted plants kept inside the house also help in keeping the air clean and fresh. So children, circulation of air in a room, house or building is called as ventilation. Proper flow of fresh air in and out of a house helps to get rid of stale air containing lots of carbon dioxide and unwanted smells. Air enters our home from windows and doors. So an ideal house must have plenty of windows and doors. Plants in and around the houses helps in keeping the air clean and fresh. Let's move to activity 1. You must have learned about the famous Hava Mahal. Paste its picture and find out why people stayed there in summers without fans and ACs. Children, the majestic Hava Mahal or the Palace of Winds is often the first visual that comes to mind when one thinks of the pink city Jaipur. It was built in 1799 by Maharaja Savai Pratap Singh. This palace has 957 small windows through which cool wind come inside the palace making it a comfortable place to stay in summers. Children, you have to paste the picture of this palace in your notebook and you have to write why people stayed there in summers without fans and ACs. Let's move on to the next feature of an ideal house that is sunlight. Sunlight makes the house bright and also kills germs, hence disinfecting the house. Germs cause diseases and make us ill. A number of windows and an open courtyard make sure that plenty of sunlight comes into the house. Sunlight helps our body to produce vitamin D. Children, sunlight is recognized as a natural disinfectant as its heat and light kills the germs growing in different corners of the house along with brightening the rooms. Children, sunlight is also a great source of vitamin D which is required for healthy bones and teeth. Exposing our body to the natural morning sunlight helps our body to get its daily dose of vitamin D. Children, what are the other ways in which we get benefited by the sunlight? Do some research on this topic and write them in the comment section. Let's move on to the next feature of an ideal house. 
which is sanitation. Cleanliness is next to godliness. If our surroundings are clean and neat, we always feel fresh and healthy. It is necessary that we keep ourselves and our house clean. Drainage and disposal of sewage water from the kitchen and toilets is called sanitation. We should throw garbage in proper dustbins which are covered. The house should be cleaned every day and we should also ensure that garbage is not thrown out in the open. Children, sanitation means keeping our surrounding clean and germ-free. It can be achieved by following some simple good habits like sweeping and mopping the house regularly, throwing the garbage in covered dustbins only, proper disposal of sewage wastewater from the kitchen and toilets. By following these habits, we will not only keep our house clean but also ensure that our nearby areas are also neat and clean. Let's move on to the next feature of an ideal house which is open space. The house should not be so cluttered that we cannot move around freely. There should be enough space that we can clean it often. Too many things should not be kept together and they should be dust free. Children, we should have enough open space in our house so that we can move around freely. Too many things should not be kept together in the house. Open space reduces stress and encourages physical activity. Let's move on to activity 2. We must follow certain do's and don'ts to make a house an ideal house. Add more to those given below. Now children, here you can see a table is given below in which some do's and some don'ts are mentioned in the columns. We have to read them and add some more points to these columns. First, let's read the do's. First point, sweep and mop the house regularly. Second, remove all cobwebs regularly. Children, cobwebs are the webs which are made by the spiders. So we should remove them regularly. Third, keep the garbage in covered dustbins. Now children, you can mention three more good habits which you must follow in order to maintain cleanliness in the house and nearby areas. Let's move on to don'ts. First, don't keep water uncovered anywhere in the house. That's because there can be dust and germ carrying agents like mosquitoes and house flies in the surrounding which can pollute the water. Second point, don't throw garbage on the road as it can spoil our surrounding and promote the growth of germs and house flies. Garbage thrown in open areas also attract dogs. Third point, get the drains cleaned regularly. Otherwise, the drains will get blocked and the sewage water will keep getting collected which will create a foul smell in the surrounding and will also help in the growth of mosquitoes and house flies. Children, you can mention three more habits which you must avoid doing to maintain cleanliness in and around your house. One such example can be, sometimes while traveling, we eat chocolates, bananas and throw their wrappers and peels here and there. Children, it's a very bad habit. In such case, we must collect the trash in a packet and throw it in a dustbin if we find it on the way. Or else, we can dispose it in the dustbin after reaching home. Rest of the points you can write in the comment section. So children, the explanation of this entire chapter is done. We learned about several features which are must for making a house an ideal house. Now before moving to the book exercises, I request all my students to kindly subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of the upcoming tutorials. Let's move on to the book exercises. Question number A. Tick the correct answer. Now children here for each question, there are four options given and we have to tick the correct answer and write the same in the given blank. Question number one. A house does not require good sanitation, plenty of sunlight, pests, proper ventilation. Now children here out of the four options given, a house does not require pests. Pests are unwanted animals and insects that come inside our homes. For example, rats, cockroaches, lizards, etc. Children, these pests carry harmful disease causing germs. So we must keep them away from our houses. Second, a house gets sunlight due to dash. Plenty of windows, open courtyard, both A and B, none of these. So children, as we all know that an open courtyard and plenty of windows both allow sunlight to brighten our homes. 
So here we will take the option C. Question number three: The free flow of fresh air in the house is called dash. Sanitation, ventilation, migration, none of these. So children, as we all know, the free flow of fresh air in the house is called as ventilation. So we will take the option number B. Question number four: We should not keep dash uncovered in the house. Water, food, garbage bins, all of these. So children, as we all know, we should not keep water, food, and garbage bins uncovered in the house. So here we will take the option number D. Question number five: A house protects us from dash, rough weather, wild animals, thieves, all of these. So as we all know, a house protects us from rough weather, wild animals. And thieves as well. So here we will take the option number D. Let's move on to the next page. Question number B. Fill in the blanks. Question number one. Very small living things called dash make us ill. So children, these very small things that can make us ill are called germs. Some of the examples of germs are bacteria, viruses, which can cause several diseases. Second, cleanliness is next to dash. So cleanliness is next to godliness. Third, we must keep dash covered. So we must keep dustbins covered. Otherwise, it will attract mosquitoes and house flies. Fourth, dash removes the waste water from the house. So it is the drains. Drains remove the waste water from the house. Question number C. Write the true or false. So here some statements are given. For the correct statements, we have to write true. And for the false statement, we have to write false. First, the early man lived in boats. This is a false statement. The early man lived in caves. Second, we should clean our house regularly. Children, this is a true statement. In order to maintain cleanliness, we must clean our house regularly. Third, we should mop and sweep the house every day. This is also a true statement. Fourth. Sunlight kills the germs in the house. Children, this is also a true statement. Sunlight is a natural disinfectant as it kills the germs in the house and so we must have plenty of windows to allow the sunlight inside our house. Fifth, cobwebs in the house should not be touched. This is a false statement. Children, cobwebs are spider webs and they should be removed time to time. Let's move on to question number D. Give short answers to the following questions. Question number 1 Why does man need shelter Answer Shelter is a basic need and it is required by man to get protected from harsh weather conditions thieves and wild animals Question number 2 Why is it important to have green plants around the house Answer It is important to have green plants around the house because they help in keeping the air clean and fresh by absorbing the carbon dioxide gas and releasing the life supporting gas oxygen in the surrounding question number 3 name some diseases caused due to stagnant dirty water answer stagnant dirty water is the breeding ground for mosquitoes and many other germs these may cause diseases such as dengue malaria cholera etc let's move on to question number e give detailed answers to the following questions question number 1 What will happen if the sewage water gets collected near your house? Answer: If the sewage water gets collected near our house, it will create a foul smell in the surrounding area. It may also become the breeding place for mosquitoes and germs, which can cause many life-threatening diseases such as dengue, malaria, and cholera. Children, dengue and malaria are caused by the biting of two dangerous mosquito species, while cholera is a bacterial disease. which is caused by consuming contaminated water question number 2 explain three ways to keep your house clean answer three ways to keep a house clean are a sweep and mop the house daily b drain should be properly covered and regularly cleaned c garbage should not be thrown in the open they should be thrown in the covered dustbins children you can add your own points as well let's move on to question number 3 What is an ideal house? Answer: An ideal house is a house which has proper provision of a ventilation. It is the free flow of air in and out of the house. To ensure this, 
we must have enough windows in the house b sunlight it brightens our house and keeps it dry and free from germs c sanitation a house should have a proper drainage system to remove the dirty water from the kitchen and washrooms garbage should be disposed of properly d open space it allows enough sunlight and fresh air in our rooms let's move on to hots a house is closed for many days what is the first thing that you should do when you enter discuss answer to this question will be if a house is closed for many days then the first thing that we should do is open all the windows and doors to let the fresh air and sunlight come inside now children just think critically as to why we should open the doors and windows to let the fresh air and sunlight come inside a house which is closed for many days and write your answer in the comment section let's move on to life skills every society should have a proper garbage disposal system citizens should also not throw garbage here and there everyone should work together to make india swachh bharat discuss children swachh bharat abhiyan which is the clean india mission was launched by our prime minister mr narendra modi on 2nd october 2014 to honor mahatma gandhi's vision of a clean country children as we all know that cleanliness is next to godliness we all like to stay in a place which is clean and well organized to achieve this we all have to adopt certain habits for example we all have to ensure that we throw garbage only in the dustbins even if it is a small wrapper of a chocolate every society must have a proper garbage disposal system so that the garbage is not dumped in the surrounding areas children do some research and find out who takes garbage from your house and where it is disposed let's move on to the last activity who are the different people who help in building your house find out what they are called also write the names of any two tools used by them children there are many people involved in the construction of a house and depending on the kind of work they do they are called by different names let's know about them and find out what kind of tools they use to carry out their work first person who makes the design children architect is the person who makes the design of a house there are many tools which are used by an architect one of such tool is compass children the second tool which is used by an architect that you will find out and write by yourself second uses bricks to build the house it is the mason mason uses bricks to build the house there are many tools which are used by a mason trowel is one such tool third makes doors and windows it is the carpenter carpenter is a person who makes doors and windows for a house the name of a tool which is used by a carpenter is handsaw the second tool you will write by yourself fourth paints the house it is the painter who paints the house one important tool which is used by a painter is the painting brush fifth fits pipes taps etc children it is the plumber who fits pipes taps etc in our house pipe wrench is an important tool which is used by a plumber second tool which is used by a plumber you will find out by yourself sixth lays electric wires children it is the electrician who lays electric wires one important tool which is used by an electrician is the screw driver the second tool you will try to find by yourself and write the same in your book in the end i am providing you this worksheet for extra practice so children in this way the explanation of this entire chapter is done hope you learned something new in today's class if you like the video do give a thumbs up and in case you have any doubt or query related to this chapter write the same in the comment box i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible all the best children